Hey guys, it's Jessica and today I'm going to share with you 10 products that I think deserve more hype. I would say this video is about half drugstore, half high end, so I'm going to do the drugstore at the beginning and then we'll finish off with the high end products. These are all products that I feel like I don't really hear a lot about, especially here in this YouTube world that many of us kind of live and breathe in. Like I watch videos all the time, like all day long. Okay, I wish it was all day long. When I get home from work, all night long. <laughs> anyway, um, and I just feel like they deserve more love. Now, it's not to say that no one has ever talked about these products. Obviously, some of these, there are YouTubers talking about, but I feel like they haven't really been hyped up as much as they deserve, whereas there have been other products that are maybe hyped up more than they deserve. Let me know if you'd like to see a video about that. If you enjoy this kind of video, subscribe if you would. I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and hit that notification bell so that you are notified when I upload new videos. Let's go ahead and get into it. One product that I feel like doesn't get enough love is from Alme. First of all, that's a brand that doesn't get enough love. I used to love their, it was like a white mascara. This isn't the product I'm talking about, but it was like a white mascara. It was a mascara, the tube was white. It was called like their One Coat. They still have it and I wanna try it again and see if I love it as much. I loved that stuff. Anyway, this is the All May Instant Glow Highlighting Duo. And so on one side, it's in the shade 100, Soft Glow. And on one side, it's got a doe foot applicator with a liquid highlight in it. Um, can you see? Yeah, there it goes. And the other side has like a stick. Um, so they're very, very similar shades. But the reason I think this product is so good is because it, you can get a really soft glow with the liquid one by just putting a few dots right there, taking your finger or a sponge and just kind of patting it in and it just gives you this gorgeous glow. And it's a little bit more subtle. Whereas the, like you can see, that's the subtle glow there. This is the cream, the kind of stick. And I feel like with that, the way I'll apply it is I'll usually do that with my fingers. I'll just get a little bit on my finger and tap it in the spots I want. And I just feel like it's so soft and pretty. And especially if you have dry skin or aging skin, a lot of us have like crow's feet and you know wrinkles and stuff, especially in this region where we're putting highlighter. And many highlighters, especially powder highlighters, can really accentuate any texture you have on your skin. Anything you might wanna mask, it's accentuating. It's drawing you know, literally light to it and attention to it. Um, so, but with products like this, especially this one, especially the liquid side, I feel like it's so like soft and it melts into your skin and just looks natural and pretty. And I'm so surprised not many people talk about this. I had another shade I really liked too, but this was the one I've really been reaching for a lot, um, mostly because of my skin tone. But they do have, I know at least one other shade, maybe two, um, but definitely worth checking out. Another drugstore product worth checking out is from Flower Beauty. Now. I know these are typically sold at Walmart, but a lot of you guys were like, no, they're being pulled out of my Walmart. I'm like, what? Um, I know you can definitely buy them online, but I'm pretty sure they're still available at Walmart. And if you can't, you could order it on Walmart's website. Either way, I'll find links for these. These are their Flower Pots powder blushes. These are so amazing. I'm wearing one of these today. This isn't the one. I'll show you in a sec. This is Peach Primrose. It's this gorgeous peach shade. These are super pigmented, but they look so pretty on the skin. I kind of blended that so you could see what it actually would look like on your cheek. Maybe a little less pigmented than that. Um, so pretty. And I think I like these because not only are they pretty, but they wear a really long time. And I think even the packaging, this is the one I'm wearing on my cheeks today. It's more of a pink tone called um, Sweet Pea. And I just think these are, they're doing blushes right. Some blushes, I'll swatch them and I'm like, wow, amazing pigment, this is crazy. But then when I put it on, I'm like, oh, this is crazy, <laughs> like it's too much. Um, and I'm just so bad about that. Like I, I tap my brush off, whatever, but I'll still put it on and I'm like, Ugh. but this I never feel like I'm like, huh, too much. Like it always just looks really, really nice and it stays that way all day long and they're inexpensive. So definitely, definitely recommend these. By the way, all of these have the GM Beauty 89 stamp of approval. I figured you'd get annoyed if I did that for every single product, but all of these do. These are products I absolutely would recommend to close friends, family, you guys, everyone. I absolutely adore all of these products. So another product that I've recently fallen in love with is the Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer in Nude. This is a better primer than so many high-end expensive primers I've used for my eye. 
So, you know, when you put this on before you put on eyeshadow, this is kind of a beige shade. Um, it definitely cancels out a little bit of discoloration, which I appreciate. Um, it kind of turns out to be a little grayish, but for some reason, it really, really works. Like, I can't really describe it on that. It just works. Um, I'm not 100% sure how many shades, like if they have darker shades, if you've got deeper skin tones, I would hope they do. Um, so I'll see if I can find that and link that below too. But it really does an amazing job. It's a matte eye primer. It really is matte. And so I think that's great if you've got oily eyelids. Now keep in mind, I don't have oily eyelids. So I don't know how this reacts to that. If you do have oily eyelids and you have tried this, let us know your experience below. And if you see someone commented, thumbs it up so it gets its way to the top so anyone that's curious can find out. The next product is what I'm wearing on my lips. This is from Revlon. It's their Ultra HD... Oh, Ultra? I said that so, like, flawlessly. Usually I say Ultra. Tra. That time I said Ultra. I was so like careful why anyway they're ultra HD matte lip color metallic so it's a matte lip color but it's metallic so I was like Revlon what are you trying to pull on us metallic and matte that doesn't make any sense and that always drives me nuts with other products make a little more of a ruckus buddy no makeup trash but boy you listened good boy it's Pinocchio by the way of course. Okay, you just hit white tail. Very good boy. We're all so weird. All of us with animals, we put on our fake voices and talk to them, and we are all so weird. <laughs> so, this stuff blew me away. It's what I have on my lips today, and it's all I have. I do have lip liner on. I put like a really expensive one. It's like Charlotte Tilbury, like their pillow talk one that's really expensive, but it's so pretty. I put that one on, but that's it. I didn't fill in my lips with that. Just this is what's on my lips. It's in the shade HD Gleam. I have been reaching for this so much because it's got like a matte feel to it. Like it's not a super sticky lip gloss, but it's not super dry like a matte liquid lip color. Thank goodness. But it really does have like this like kind of shimmery. It's not glitter, but it's definitely shimmer in it. I love it so much. It Doesn't it make my lips look like healthy? And it's like the perfect lip color for many people. Pinocchio. It's amazing. And so I feel like it's got a really flat doe foot applicator, which I appreciate. It does have a smell, like a kind of fruity smell, um, you know, like a fake fruit smell. But I really like it. I need to try more of their shades. But this is the one shade very specifically that I am like, why is everyone not talking about this line? Why is everyone not talking about this color? I love it. I love it so much. It's like an all-in-one lip color that just looks so nice, especially if, you know, this metallic trend that's coming in is fun, and I like looking at it on other people, but I don't love it on myself every single time, but this is like the perfect amount of metallic. I always feel so brokenhearted when I kick Pinocchio out, and he just looks back at me in the dark of the hallway like, like, I'm sorry, just go downstairs, go see Dad. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. Uh, next product from the drugstore that I really feel like more people should be talking about is this Pixi Lower Lash Mascara. I, I use it today on my lower lashes. I've been using it like every day because I love my lash paradise, but it's not great for lower lashes. It's a lot. This is so similar to so many high-end versions of this. Like there's like that, isn't there a Clinique one? There's the um, It Cosmetics one that's really thin that I really do like. Oh, it's called their Tightline Mascara. This is the exact same thing for half the price. Now, Pixi is kind of borderline. It's like, it is drugstore, it's at Target, but some of their prices are a little bit like, like kind of creeping up. So I don't know if I consider this one drugstore or not, but this is one of their more inexpensive products. Um, it's just amazing. It's because it's like literally almost a non-existent wand. You just can really like, I don't know, like flawlessly get your bottom lashes, no clumps, like it's not getting all over your skin. It deposits the perfect amount of product. I love it. Also, this lasts way longer than three months. Like I'm talking, I've been using this for quite a while. <laughs> so, I mean, I feel like it's one of those things because it is, a, I mean, it's still a mascara, but it is a little bit different. It just is lasting a very long time. <laughs> Moving along, another product I can't believe more people are talking about. We're getting more into the more expensive products. Is this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Lines Foundation. This stuff, this was sent to me a while ago. And I've kind of, I had been trying it off and on, but I started to realize that a lot of the times I'd look in the mirror 
like at work and be like, ooh, like your skin looks really nice today. Like, dang Jess, you've been drinking a lot of water. Like, and I realized it was always when I was wearing this. It's an anti-aging, they say, anti-aging, skin smoothing, invisible coverage. I feel like it's got nice medium coverage, maybe medium to full, and it just is so pretty. Now, if you have oily skin, you will hate this. This is for my dry skin gals. It is so pretty. It's so like, your skin just looks invigorated and youthful and dewy and glowy, but like covered. I feel like a lot of dewy foundations I've used don't have the coverage I need, but this one has both. And that's why I'm like, why is no one talking about this? It's crazy. Um, so I really like it, but like I said, dry skin people probably only. Maybe combo, but oily, uh, I don't even know. But either way, I am, I love it so much. Another product, again, this is Pixi, but because it's a palette, it is more expensive, so I'm kind of including it later in this video, um, is the Pixi and it's Judy Time Get the Look palette in It's Eye Time. This palette is unbelievable. I want to say it's around $20. I'll put the price on the screen because I'm not 100% sure. Um, but when you start thinking about comparing this to like $50 and $60 palettes that are out there, this is definitely just as good, if not better, very similar colors to what's out there in like every single palette. Very popular, you know, the reds, the warm tones. It's got matte and shimmer. It's gorgeous. So let me swatch some of this for you. The shimmers are freaking unbelievable. There is a little bit of powder kick up, but if you tap your brush off, you're going to be fine. So look at those. Are you serious? Are you serious? And then the mattes. Oh my gosh. I'm wearing some of these shades today. I'll tell you in just a second which ones. Of course, my sleeve's going to get on it. Gorgeous. Stunning. These, I'm wearing this red that I just swatched right there in my like outer corner and crease. Um, I think that actually, I think that, oh, and I put that on my lower lash line, so I guess that's all I'm wearing. I was trying a few other things out too today. But I love this palette so much. This is one of these that every time I use it, I always have a good eyeshadow day. I always do. And I think it's because they blend really well. They're not crazy thick, but they're not too thin of a shadow. They're pigmented, but not so pigmented that they're like kind of hard to work with. But like I said, there is a little powder kick up on just the shimmers, so you always want to tap. But unbelievable. And I actually think the packaging is kind of cute. It's the classic pixie, like light green, no excess packaging to it. I love that you can see the shadows. Unbelievable. Why isn't everyone talking about this? So another product that I, I talk about a lot, and I think this used to be a really like cult classic, but I haven't heard about it in years. And it's one of those things I'm wearing it today. One of those things that's like my secret weapon like genuinely my secret weapon product. This is the Bobbi Brown Corrector. I have the shade Light Bisque, they have a lot of shades. This is like a concealer, but it's I use it as an under eye corrector, meaning it's correcting the blueness, you know, the dark under eye circles I have. I'm really dark like right there. Like I have some here, but I'm really dark right there. And I remember one time like my brother, we were like walking the streets of Chicago or something and he was like, did you get like punched in the eye or something? Like, I don't remember how, what he asked. And I was like, what? And I was like wearing makeup, but he was like, you're like, you got like blue there. Is that like eyeshadow? I'm like, no. And I'm like, what? So like, you know, the next time we're able to go to the bathroom, we'll look in the mirror and I'm like, it's just like the darkness I have there. And I'd never really thought about covering it very much other than just regular concealer. Then this came along. This is the best product I've ever found for covering that. Now, this is not crazy thick. It's really not. Like when I start thinking about like those thick, like tart erase paste kind of thick, that's like, like my mom, I remember had a black eye a long time ago just because of like an injury. <laughs> it was kind of a funny injury, but it was sad, but it was funny. <laughs> She's fine now, guys. You can laugh about it. Anyway, I gave her that erase paste and it freaking covered. This is not that caliber, but this is the perfect thing. If you do have that darkness and you're wanting to wear this every day, the erase paste is just so thick. Um, this is just thick enough, but it's got this like quality to it that's like emollient. And so it doesn't look dry and cakey like, like I think of the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is a very dry concealer. I can't use it there. It, it's too dry. This is just the right amount of, of emollient that it looks like skin. And it like, I'll put it on. I put it on today and I'm like, like I'm amazed every single time I use it. 
every single time. This is one of those things that the second I hit pan, I'm buying it again because if, I, if they ever discontinue this, I would buy probably way too many and they'd all go bad. But it's so above, it's like on its own level above like every other product and I have tried so many. If you have that problem, save the money. It's like 20, I wanna say around $25 worth every penny worth every penny. I can't stress that enough. Um, if you've tried this and you love it, let us know. If you've tried it and you don't like it, let us know. I haven't heard anyone say anything negative about this, um, but I haven't asked a lot. So I'm very curious about your experience with this, but I freaking love it. Now I will say, you need to find the perfect shade for you because if you're getting one too light, it's not gonna look like your skin. If you get one too dark, well, it's not gonna do its job. So you've really gotta you know, maybe go in a store or I don't know, You've got to find the right shade, but Light Bisque was just perfect for me. And I'll just do this, and that's it. It's blended in. It's done. Like, it's, oh my gosh. And you don't need to put a concealer on top of it, nothing. It works amazing on its own. Now, one other thing. Does it settle into fine lines? Of course it does, like anything. But, like, especially if you're coming right here, as long as you're not going too far out, I think it can look gorgeous. Can you set it with the powder? Of course you can. Then it's even, then you're taking it and amping it up to the next level. Okay, I'll shut up about it. Next product that a lot of people don't talk about are these Butter London Glazen Eye Glosses. Man, are these good. Um, this is in the shade Icing. And they're like this gross, like it looks like a pudding. It really does kind of look gross, but oh my gosh. And it feels like cold like a pudding. But it's this gorgeous liquid eyeshadow that dries, of course. But the way I'll use these, if you're intimidated by it, don't be. All you need to do is, you know, get a little bit, maybe tap a little bit off, and just tap it all over your lid, all the way to the crease, and then just grab a brush and kind of blend into the crease so that way there's no, like, weird defining line where it starts and ends, unless you want, like, a cut crease kind of a thing. And it, that's all you need to do. It looks gorgeous. Sometimes I'll do it and I'll put, like, a little bit of a deeper shade in the crease to kind of blend it together a little better, but you don't even need to do that. So this is the shade Icing. These do not budge once they dry. They're so pretty. Um, and the other shade I really like is called Moonshine. And this one is a little bit more cool tone, if you like that, like a very taupey. If you're a taupe lover, you will love this. Um, this one, however, has like actual glitter in it. But again, because the glitter's like suspended in it, there's like no fallout at all. It's so pretty. So highly recommend these. Do I think they'll go bad quicker than some other shadows? Maybe, because I mean, it is just like, this exposed bit. You could always get a tiny spatula and use that if you're not comfortable putting your fingers in it. You know, that's totally up to you, but stunning. Need I say more? The next product that no one talks about is from the brand Studio Makeup. I'm not 100% sure where you can even buy these, so I will find the best link I can for these and link it down below. I got these separately in two different like boxy charms. And so I know a lot of people have them, or at least I assume we do. And this was one that I saw it and I'm like, okay. And I opened it. This is the one called uh, Warm Up. And I opened it and I'm like, not bad. Uh, this became one of my favorite palettes of like all time. They're super blunt. Actually a very similar formula to the Pixie shadow palette. Where it's not a super thick formula, but they're just right. They're pigmented enough to make beautiful looks. They blend so beautifully. And I loved the combo of colors. Again, very boring palette. But if you like boring palettes like me, you'll love it. Um, but here's the thing, these are like weirdly expensive. Like I was like, it's in a boxy charm. It'll probably be a $15 palette. No, it was like $50. I'm like, Wh what? But it's still so good. The shimmers are really, really, really pretty. The mattes are really, really pretty. There are some of the shimmers. Um, this one probably, well, it might show up on my skin tone. This one's really close to my skin tone, so it's harder to see, but. Gorgeous. So the other one I really like is the cool one called Cool Down. And, you know, it's obviously got some cooler colors, but I love, oh my gosh, these are so freaking pretty. Oh my gosh. So there's some of the shimmers there. Um, let me get some of the mattes, like this really dark, like eggplant color. Oh, come on, sleeve. Anyway, so, so gorgeous. So 
if somehow you can snag these from someone or maybe you have it in your collection you really didn't give it a try give it another try I was so surprised I travel with these a lot because they're crazy thin again no excess packaging but they have like every color I could ever need for the looks that I typically do so those are all of the products that I feel like are under hype they deserve more love they're definitely worth checking out I like I said if you enjoyed this video I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one bye Thank you.